Hello, I'm Uncle Matty. I think you'll find I'm Uncle Matty. No, we're not. Yeah, yeah. Right, you two, get out of here. I'm sick of telling you. I'm Uncle Matty. Hello, I'm Uncle Matty. Want to go open some crap? No problem. I've got plenty. So today I thought we could look at a random selection of toys. Some modern, some vintage, some are modern pretending to be vintage, like this. New re-released Boba Fett. This pop vinyl Easy E. This hilariously inappropriate whoopee cushion. <laughs> Can't wait to check that out. This vintage real monsters squirt toy. And there's a bit of a backstory to these toys. The creatures of the gory laboratory. Which I'll talk about in a bit. This hot wheelchair. Every child's dream. The Asda Adventure Force home delivery van. With real sound effects. Stretch Armstrong. Looks a bit different to how I remember him when I was a child, but look forward to seeing that. And this guy, Vacman. These are just miniature versions, but he was another toy I had as a child. Look forward to seeing him also. Got this new re-release He-Man. And I had bought this fun Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles action set. But it burst in the post. So let's just get right into this. I've always wanted to be a turtle. I like turtles. And now I can with this handcuff, sheriff's badge and sunglasses set. Without the packaging, there's not much to indicate that these sunglasses are indeed turtle tabulous. But I think they still look pretty tubular, whichever way you look at it. Got a bit of a bend to them. Share a badge. Stick that on. Otherwise, how will people know that I'm a turtle? I'm under arrest by Leonardo for, uh, I don't know, hanging out with Shredder and that. I managed to get these a bit stuck on my wrist. Oh good, the key works. Well that was fun. Let's get straight into He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Now I've seen a lot of people opening these up in America. They like to complain about the distribution problems over there with Walmart. It's a Walmart exclusive over there. But I bought it off Amazon and was equally disappointed with the standards of packaging. So, looks like I won't be keeping one of them as a sealed collectible after all. But in fact, my nephew will probably be getting one for his birthday now. But anyway, let's let him breathe. Let's get that fresh figure smell. One of my favourite moments. Oh yes. Oh, a bit dizzy. A bit rubbery. And I've dropped the mini comic, Beast Barrage. There's been plenty of videos on YouTube already having a look at this, probably. Uh, we get everything late in the UK, but that looks pretty good. No words. Let's see what he's saying. So he's got half a power sword with a slightly metallic sheen. His axe and shield, however, do not have the same metallic sheen. He does have these slightly strange looking thighs, but I believe they didn't want any joints to be visible. And they've done that. That's my pizza. I'm gonna have to take a slight break from filming here, guys. Finally, some peace. Hey, let's get a bit of your pizza, Matt. Yeah, come on, Matt, don't be tight. Just one slice. I thought I told you two to get out of here. <laughs> All right, sorry about the little interruption there. So overall, I'm not sure how I feel about the power sword and that ax is a little bit lame looking. But the full articulation of the He-Man is really good. It feels strange having a vintage figure with kind of modern articulation. Apparently they're releasing a new head sculpt. I think it's going to come with another accessory. Oh. Yep, these things are fully ooh, modular. They're really catering to the customizers here. Hopefully they won't come after me. For my own figures. It's Moss Mask, Moss Mask, it's Moss Mask, Moss Mask, it's Moss Mask, it's Moss Mask. How will He Man fare against his most fearsome foe yet? He Mat. No chance. Alright, next. Right, half open this one. 
So these are a new, modern, newish, I bought them ages ago. Uh, modern Stretch Armstrong, look at the range, the Octopi, the three regulars, and some dogs. These were the kind of faces my Stretch Armstrong had back in the 90s, but they seem to have gone for the 70s look, is it, on the actual Stretch Armstrong? And this one here, Stretch X-Ray, has visible guts. Boy, does he. Check them. See how he stretches. These things are filled with corn syrup. I learned when I was a youth, when my Stretch Armstrong eventually did break. That's cool. Check out them guts. Quite a gutsy move. Well, don't know what else to say about that. Pretty good. Let's check out this sort of mini vac man. So these are a bit different. You pump out the air, they're full of little beads, and you then stretch and crack it. Ooh, now that's a nice smell. Kind of reminds me of a, a brand new pencil case smell. Where this differs to the one I had as a child, I believe the one I had as a ute had a little pump. This one has some kind of head pump mechanism. Oh yeah, Ugh. mine's a bit gooey. Let's get him vacked. His body's going all lumpy and weird. I think I'm at max vac. Weird. Cool. Once more. And yeah, my vac man in the uh, 90s uh, went back to the shop a couple of days after Christmas because he pretty much immediately got a little hole in him. And uh, once he's got a hole in him, the vac don't work anymore. Strangely satisfying. Next, let's check out this Adventure Force Asda Home Delivery Van. Looks pretty accurate. Now you can encourage your children to shop at Asda from a young age. If you've got a girl, why not get her a little Asda till so she can pretend she's actually shopping in Asda. That's another thing that's available now in Asda. This video is not sponsored by Asda. And in here, you can put all your unethical goods that you've got from Asda. Uh, subdivision of Walmart. You can fit plenty of chlorine chicken in there. Buy this. While we're on with vehicles, check this out. Hot wheelchair. Now, wheelchairs are cool thanks to stunt people making them so. Can I tell you something? I'm going to shock you here. I'm not going to bother opening this. Here's one I've opened earlier. Are you ready for some action? Oh look, he's doing a wheelie. Holy moly. Right, let's get this piece of junk out the way. Not a fan of pop vinyl toys. I should probably keep this in the box, shouldn't I? These things barely even stand up once you open them. But the boxes just look so lame. Have you seen those people who have piled stacks of boxes of these things? Oh, there he is. I didn't know the glasses were going to be see-through or semi-translucent. But they are, which means you can see his stupid little pop black eyes. But it's pretty good. I do like it. It's got this competent hat. He's got it all, really, hasn't he? I saw this. I thought, is that bear sat upon an ejaculating phallus? Because that's what it looks like. My suspicions were confirmed further when looking on the colour header card. It says poo there, but it looks like... This definitely looks like ejaculate. Anyway, hopefully, the whoopee cushion is good. Because I'm about to use it. Hang on, <laughs> I'm started yet. Are you ready? Oh! <laughs> well, it wasn't as much of a surprise because I knew it was coming, but it was still very fun. I've got another vintage one here from the 90s. The story behind these was quite interesting, I thought. These were originally toys designed by a chap called Mel Burncrant, who had a whole series of toys designed. Well, these. And they all have really cool action features, like a bit of a blurp ball type feature on that one. 
This one, you're feeding bugs and a magnet in the spoon causes his mouth to open. Now this is a little sick. Watch Chow Hound drop bomb the spiders. Nasty. This guy chases things up and down a piece of string. These are squirt toys and these two turn inside out. Spider Biter chugs into view. This bugger's got a hidden secret. Turn him inside out to reveal this big old nasty spider. Then flip him back and gulp. The toy designs for these characters are all really great, but none of these characters were actually in real monsters, just these four. These gnarly creatures rule. These eventually got a release through Nickelodeon and they just bunged them on with the real monsters line, but these were never in the show, and they're just Mel's designs. They're really stuck on there, the vintage one. Mm, this kind of smells like old cardboard. Ooh, slightly funky. Seems alright. Sometimes I expect this kind of material to be kind of sticky. Better do the test with some water. Alright. Splug here should drool and slobber water. Well, let's see if he does. These were made in 1995. Are you ready to see if he slobbers water? Whoa, he surely does. Ew, gross. Look out, Boba. Time to get slobbery. Stop doing that. No. All right, that's enough fun. <sighs> Boba. I don't know what you're thinking, Matt. Are you going to compare it to a vintage Boba Fett figure? Of course I bloody am. This is the vintage on the left and the new one on the right. The new one stands up a bit easier. Let's see if this one actually holds his gun because that's been the main problem with most of these. By George, he does. They've only went and fixed it. And does the vintage Boba hold the gun? Well, mine doesn't. Maybe yours, oh, it just does just about. It may be a good way to get a replacement gun if you after a vintage Boba. Nice to have a brand new one in hand. Do miss the shine on the rocket though. They've replaced it with a mat, and it seems to be a bit bigger. Moving up in the world. All right, guys. Guess I'll have to do the video because I've just run out of memory on my phone and in case you didn't know, I record and edit all my videos on my phone. Except for this bit of footage which is being recorded on a GoPro which I've somehow got to then get to my phone even though it's full of memory and I've got to edit all this video footage together even though I've got no memory left. So if you'd like to help me get a new laptop so that I can stop going cross-eyed editing videos on this tiny phone screen, then why not consider buying some official Rainbow Yarn merch? Links in the bio, you've already seen at least three people wearing it. Yeah, then you get something cool, or even better, go buy a toy. If you're lucky in the shop, there's probably a few of the toys left that no one really wants that you can still buy available. Or you can hold out to get one of the ones that people actually want, and you can fight over them using the refresh button. Thank you for joining me, I hope you've had as much fun as me, and I'll see you next time, here. On Rainbow Yarn TV, Matty, Uncle Matty, me, YouTube, my YouTube. Watch it, I know you are doing, but please watch more. Thank you, goodbye, subscribe, buy a t-shirt, hello.